Yes, welcome back. This is JC Sako. My name is Maria Masava, and I'm with DJ Mix. And today we are tackling uh, on our inspiration vibe. We are talking about as I wait. Then and the lesson you can learn from Abraham and Sarah. You know, at the beginning of this show, I was talking about situation depression. Situation depression is whereby we go through something and our expectations are not met. So we are like, ah, what is going through? What is going on? What is really really happening? When our, situ when our expectations are not met. So we tend to, to be so extremely stressed. And you know, the generation, you have to see we are uh, the instant generation. We want things instantly, the microwave kind of generation. We want our life to move like, uh, like a Bugari. I know you know that like Bugatti, Bugari, the way you want to pronounce it, at the speed of Bugari, from zero to 431 kilometers, just in a snap. Nataka life is very fast, and things don't happen like that. And, and we know waiting is not easy. I've been waiting for something also for like seven years. So waiting is not easy. It's like hard work. Uh, and I know you're waiting on something and you're trusting God for something. And Adi, to me, a point, we put a deadline on things. Eh? I want to finish campo by 23, get a job by 24. Eh? SG, get married by 25. I need to pay God deadlines. Is it no deadlines? Nataka life young will happen. Nataka ni pate, ni pate, let me say, you were expecting God for a financial breakthrough. Nataka ni pate 100 Gs by end of June. Nyanzishe ibiz. But things don't work like that. Our God is not. A God of uh, God of things that instantly. God, our God is a God of seasons. Have you ever thought like, mm, if God wanted to save us, that is after the fall of mankind, if he wanted to save us, he will do things instantly, because our God is all powerful. But God is a God of seasons. So he, we went through a season. Uh, he went through a season, sending his son, dying on the cross. It took a period. It took a time, eh? a timeline. And what happens when when your timeline is fika? <laughs> That's the time you start looking for plan B or getting a backup plan or, or also getting a backup plan on a backup plan. I know guys, to me funny because at some point in my life, I've also done that. You are trusting God for this, this thing. I love timeline in Fike, deadline in Fike. You look for a backup plan and on the top of a backup plan, you get another backup plan. I say, my easy work, eat a work. But things don't work like that. Eh? We don't look for plan B. We wait on the Lord. I am from Genesis in the book of Genesis chapter 15, verse 4. But you can go just read the entire of Genesis 15 so, you get, so that you can get a background of Abraham and God and why they call him the father of faith. Um, Abraham chapter 15, Kwanzaa verse 4, verse 4 to 6, uh, God appears to, to Abraham. He tells him, count the stars. You're the father of all nations. You're the father of many nations. Yeah. So God promises Abraham he will have a son of his own. Hmm? At that point, Abraham really believed his promises, believed God promises, and he was so excited. He did not question. He just believed God. And also, we go through the same thing. We believe God that by 23, by 17, by high school, by end of June, by 100 Gs,